my rank up and then go do the main mission. Progress, it seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have official attend officially attended the attain. Oh my god, I can't read. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the ga galaxy expedition team. You can now use feather balls. Is that pretty quick balls? Pokemon up to level 30 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Feather balls. You need one uh, Apricorn and one Sky Tombstone. 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 Whatever. And, ooh, super potions. I'll craft some of them bad boys right now. Where's the crap? Oh, right here. It's not got exactly carry away in the sense. Dang it, I keep pressing freaking plus. Thinking that it's gonna pop open the menu. Anything new in the store? Huh, insect kimono. Alright, so in a sense, I got something new. Oh, got handkerchiefs now. Insect bottoms also. Right, that's enough. Onward to the main mission. You know, yeah, don't forget for those that are watching in live stream, if you feel that you don't have enough time to watch the full live stream, I will be posting up uh, sections of the live stream over on the YouTube channel. And for those on YouTube, if you want to watch me live and talk with me while I'm playing this, the link will be in the description to come and follow and watch. Oh, wow, look at the three Starlies just chilling. Can I kill all of you there? I'm at the other one left him.
take out some of these here. G dude. Uh, on my way up there. G dude. I need to master Aqua Jet or I need a better move. That stab. Quick attack, use bite. Hmm. I'll hold off for now. His eyes just went cross for a second. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us? Thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out a on a chance to observe an alpha. Now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine. As long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descendant from one of those ancient blessed by the all by Almighty Shino. Is that a Cricket Town? That's not it. There's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. And that's what you're here for. Daddy, to drive that antelope from this place, I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Oh, dang it, I wasted a potion. She healed them beforehand. Upon my word, what a large specimen. I see a tree shaking in the background. Little wonder Alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They're strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. Oh, so they know egg moves. They're or, or TMs. Yeah. 
they're not to be trifled with. Let me tell you, nevertheless. I believe you are strong still, and stronger than, oh my God, stronger still than this alpha. So go show it that beyond any mistake. Be careful, Daddy. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon has some strong moves at their disposal. Can I switch my Pokemon before I, I, I got like Freeza on my hand? Good thing I got this Star Ravia. You're supposed to attack it. Oh, I have to talk to it. Press the Y button during the battle to check the action order of all the Pokemon currently battling. This shows the order in, the po in which Pokemon will take their upcoming turns based on their action speed. The action speed of the Pokemon is based on their speed. Aerial Ace. That's what I was gonna use. I got Air Slash. I didn't mean to kill it. <clears throat> I did not mean to kill it. I honestly thought that it, like it would have had like really good defense, special defense since it was an alpha, but I did not intend on killing it. I was going to catch it. Good thing I saved beforehand. That's why you always just save when you're playing RPGs. Or Pokemon. Or any game that has a save function. Alright, so I'm going to use Agility and then use Gus. Yeah, I'm going to use Agility and use Gus. That's what I'm going to do. To weaken it. Doesn't matter if Staravia get you know faints or whatever. Can I skip it? Oh, can't skip it.
It's funny you have seen it just slap the Pokeball away. Like, I ain't getting cool. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> oh my God, I did not see that coming. Yay, I caught it. <laughs> I mean, I had to sacrifice like two mons. <laughs> you really are impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best at an alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. It's always a legendary hero of old. We best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of. Thank you. What in the world? The great wire, where, wire deer, why there, where there, why there? Looks upon you with kindness, Daddy. I'd say the great wire dare, I hope I said his name right, has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expansion of Hi of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Oh, so Alola is a thing in this timeline. Okay. Professor Levy. Daddy. Captain Celine sent me. She said that once Daddy carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. About that. I know this was a joint decision by Adamin and... The commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The Sui region is a land created by Almighty Shino for the sake of, of his Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The great wire deer has taken a liking to Daddy as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you ate us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. I, I, I would like to, I mean, I, I, I know this is probably a very unpopular uh, opinion. I would like for them to do something like this with Kanto. 
the whole game is is pre is like pre Kanto. Uh, you're Professor Oak, like young young Oak, and you're going around filling out the Pokédex. I would like that. Like have one for each region, and like change it up a little bit. You know, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction corpse arrives. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this camp to start your er excursions, whatever. I was supposed to say expedition. Have another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. Let's say we all head back to the Wallflower. Oh wow, he actually has like a symbol next to him because he was an alpha. Hmm. Ooh, a thousand for catching an alpha? What? I'm gonna go find that Star Ravia and go catch it. Alright. Okay, catch three alphas. Mm, caught without being spotted. Times you've seen it use slash, times you've seen it use X scissors, times you've given it food and defeated and in different forms. Okay. Should have been a little bit more points than that for me catching an alpha. Vinio chum, the usual potato mochi, please. And make it for three today as well. Have you all heard the grave news? That fr what? frizzied cleaver from the rumors? It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corpse has had a hard time getting all the injuries back on their feet. This is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the survey corpse will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon. But I'm sure Daddy here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? What's with the look on her face? I've heard Cleaver is so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now, now, you forget that the strength of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. Okay, so I'm gonna be fighting a cleaver. Is that the one from like the the teaser that they showed? That's supposed to be Scyther's evolution. The next day. Good morning. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. I still can't get over how that dude just flung me like that. That's all I need. Yeah, that's all I need. <laughs> I 
There you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting almighty Shino's precious time by bowing to a shame. Who are these two? Can I have his hairstyle? Here you go again, insisting on your false image of almighty Shino as a ruler of time. My people follow the true almighty Shino, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ha. Huh. You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Dang. Can I have his hairstyle and like change the colors? Actually, no, I like the colors. Can I have his hairstyle? I want his hairstyle. So I'm guessing that they're like diamond and pearl. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast Hisui space? I want his hairstyle and his eyebrows. And, the, and that earring. Can I just take his sprite and put it on myself? I want I want everything he has on right now. Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time. Oh, mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I knew it. Too obvious. I worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me get lost? In Almighty Shino's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our world's very by uh, basis, sorry, you wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Shino, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. I, I was waiting for like the 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 more like comedic people of the game of the game. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for reference for space is er Erida, leader of the Pearl Clan, and a man who was going on and on about time, Adamon, 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 leads the Diamond Clan. Uh, I, I I just get I just got the names, I I just got the names. That's funny. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. Before I do that, I want to say, and I want to go look at that crooked tone that I caught. Big boy. Oh wow, he has false swipe. That would be good for catching mons. You don't have anything stabbed though. Special attack, regular attack, special defense, speeds up, defense down. Yeah, you'll be good for catching Mons if they don't run away. Confusion and Hypnosis. Roll out Mastered. Tackle and Rest. Hmm. I should actually put this Ponytail on my team. Because technically speaking, I don't need a Beautifly right now. Because that makes me have two Flying types and then I got a Bug type. Um, I do want to learn spore, stun spore though. I'm taking out Ponyta. 
Or, uh, 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 um, I'll wait. See if I can find a better ponytail. Oh, it's a request board. Oh, here's the mission for the Bidoof. Seems a band of bothersome Bidoof keep sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sumugi from the security corp and see if you can help. Uh, I mean, I, I'm probably not going to do these now, but I'll pick them all up. Playing with Drifflin. Zubat's eyes. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look, Cinequil. Can I pet you? Can I give you a berry? Missed opportunity. Oh, wow! Ashawa's just in the tank. I should have been like, given like a berry or something. Wait, did I just say begin? Or did it, did it say his name? Oh, Baggin! Oh. Oh. What a name. Baggin. Is that your last name? Is your first name Bilbo? Looking for a, a pickling stone. You see, would you mind lending one to me? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickled pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. But I suppose it would be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift this. Oh, it probably, she probably wants that flying stone thing. Yeah, she probably wants that that wind stone, whatever the hell it's called. Oh wait, catch a Jew, dude. Wait, wait, where'd she go? Wait, where'd she go? Oh wait, do I gotta go to the billboard to turn it in, or like, do I have to find her? I'm just gonna go to the billboard. That is not the billboard. I'm just gonna go to the billboard and see what happens. Okay then. I have no clue where she's at. So let me do this. No. Yes. Oh, she's outside. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll do that after I talk to Komodo. Komodo. Whatever. What's up, fellas? What do you intend to do about that cleaver, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of almighty Shino, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get the right, get right to the point, Adamon. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what will you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl... Yeah, Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If we may... If my, oh my god, I can't read. If my people were to do something, or two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. Alright, so this is a heads up of how, how, why I'm so horrible at reading. I can read fast, but I can't verbally di dish it out. If, if you can catch my drift. Like, I could read that whole thing fast as hell in my head. But, like, let's say, for instance, about the time I get to the word end, my mind is on the word like. So, yeah, that's why I'm reading so horrible. Like, my my, 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 my eyes and, and my mind and my mouth is in sync. In sync. <laughs> non sync. Ill sync. There we go. I said in sync. Ill sync. But even folk of the galaxy team has been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own? Honored nobles? I don't believe I said that, though 
It may be. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into a, such a violent frizzy, frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a f as. F I'm looking at the word A and I'm about to say ass. This is a first as far as my clan knows too. I see you've arrived. So, this is Daddy, the newest member of our survey corps. I hear from my you earn we're dear's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adamon, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamon. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Shino is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a pr proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Ha! <laughs> I like him. I like his comebacks. I like his comebacks. He's hilarious. And I want his outfit and his hair. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how you, oh my god, how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Shino made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs for a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Daddy. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of this situation. Dope. Got you. Remember that you are a stranger who appear one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. I think, I think that was bone at the end because I am pressing it by accident. Well, that's settled. And there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Shinon's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Okay. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans, understood? Join me downstairs, Daddy. We'll cover the details of this new mission. So much talking. Ah, good. You've arrived here. Professor Levy, the briefing is, if you please, of it is. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Daddy, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frizzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is an almighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're rallied. Riled, sorry. I like to be per perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Yep. Very well, then let us go over the protect. 
Yeah. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sheena. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Daddy, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space and time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That 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 world might be where Almighty Shino itself resides. The true Almighty Shino that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time. By Almighty Shinon's own power. Think of it. You must, must have been just swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you. Oh, amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver. Quill his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamon. We were just discussing our next steps with regarding to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be that Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. I was about to say Nutty Professor. Jeez. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those per Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy Team, of all people, for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's certainly a bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many compatible, capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Lian. 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 Lian is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinded, you know. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver whether you wish him to or not. Oh wait, wow, she got an Ursa ring on her kimono, shirt, hoodie, kimono, you said kimono. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Yeah, she has an Ursa ring on her shirt and then she, oh, hoodie, kimono, and then she has a, a Stantler on her pants, leggings. He certainly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adaman and May weren't wrong. You know, if you're to study and perhaps even Quill Cleaver, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new Heights Camp would be a handy place for setting our t wait, set it out toward Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the passers too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. If I knew what the type of the freaking thing was, I would totally bring the right thing, but I don't know. All I seen was the picture of the bad boy in the teaser. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you came across? Satchel always seemingly full? If that sounds like you, I'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Are you going to sell me something, aren't you? Sideburns. You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I could teach you if you like. What do you say? How much you gonna charge me though? Oh, only a, what? Only a hundred bucks, man. Perfect. Then lend me your ear a moment. You've made space to keep one more kind of item in yourself. Just one. And that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in by packing things right. If you want to be able to carry even more things, there are more I can teach you. What do you say? Yeah, man. Two oh, he going to keep raising the price. I, listen, I'll do it as much as possible. Shoot. I don't, in, in a sense so far, don't really need money too badly unless I'm trying to learn a move from, um, I forgot her name. Out. I don't want to 
gonna spend all day here upgrading the backpack. Not that I got much money to begin with. Alright, how big is my backpack now? Oh wow. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, that's 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 a lot more than I thought it was. That is a lot more than I thought it was. I should probably save too. Cuz that was a lot of talking that I really don't want to do again. Uh oh yeah. The girl with the starly. Wrong button. Wait, no. Starly. G, dude. Look at that, it really does look like a rock. And it seems to be the ideal weight too. Oh, and it's simply perfect. Thank you, young man. With this Geodude's help, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. Geodude. <laughs> dude. 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 Geodude. Oh, wait, no. I, I said I wasn't gonna do the side missions now. What am I doing? Great timing. We've done gathering the harvest. What? 34 apricorns? 13 spoiled? Um, let's do medicine. A thousand for medicine? Oh my goodness. Well, it is needed, I guess. Kichi. Listen here, survey corpse kid. I saw the darndest thing. I was scoring the heartwood for crops we could grow in the fields here when I saw it. This Pokemon called Churum changed its appearance before my very eyes. It was in the evening. The light was getting dim. All of a sudden, Chiron's petals closed right up. So it looked like nothing but a little flower bud. I was going to say pod. Wow, I thought, I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning when I went to check in on that Chiron, it was right back to full bloom. But why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works? Or was the change I saw something different? When you finish Chiron's Pokedex entry, let me have... Okay. Alright. Okay. Is that another mission? God, Mother Nature. Shoot, they, they are not playing with these tasks. I mean, I don't mind makes me want to play it more but like wow you there you seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting do you think you can help me out with something I'd be very very grateful if you're trying to craft something using a special recipe I came up with so without further ado here's the recipe pokey she dolls three logs this is the recipe for what I've named Pokey She's Dolls. I invented them, you see. A special item that we can make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Okay, I only got one piece of wood, so uh, that's obviously not going to be done right now. Wrong button. 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about those. I'll, I'll do it later. Because I think those are missions in town that I gotta deal with Pokemon, so I'll, I'm not worried about it right now. How are things, my good friend? Certainly hope you're putting that secret book strike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing, nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know? Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Eh, thank you. So nice. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Oh, thank you. Such a nice guy. I pressed the wrong one, didn't I? Crap. I meant to click on Heights Camp. Good thing I can instant transmission. Could save some time on loading time now. Who are you? Uh oh. Is that a Clefairy? It can be sold to the general store. Oh, it's for money. Oh, you can make it for money. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm going, god dang it, what, what, is, dang it, what am I stuck on? Some more Starly. Okay, that's, that's a steep fall. What is that? That's a Starly. Hey, this is the way I came up before. Oh, that is a that is a alpha parasect. And it's a plant down there I've never seen before. Oh my god! That thing is level 30! Leave! No! No! No 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 no